hello everybody welcome back to my channel so i'm gonna put the lower mercier uh medium deep powder on my brows i learned this from an mua on instagram and this is basically just something so your brows won't get greasy through the night and they'll stay matte the whole night when you're out and it, it works for me so this is why i started doing this to my brows and then i use the juvia's place concealer in the shade uh 13 and I'm using a Morphe M167 brush to clean my brows up. And then I'm taking the Morphe M173 brush to put concealer on my lids. And this time I didn't set it with any powder because it was getting patchy. So I just put the eyeshadow straight on and just made sure I blended really well. I'm gonna use the Juvia Place, the Magic Mini, and I'm gonna go into this shade with a Morphe M332 brush. And I'm just packing that on the outer corner of my eye. And then I'm going to go into the Warrior 3 from Juvia's Place and take this purple with the Real Techniques brush. And I'm going to put it right in the crease where that dark color is and just pack the purple. I'm not blending it. I'm putting it right in the crease. So I'm just packing it. Pack, pack, pack. Pack that purple. And then I'm going to take the Morphe M504 blending brush. And I'm tapping right now. I'm not blending. I'm just tapping the purple in the crease and like kind of like where the front of my eyelid is. But I'm just tapping. I'm not doing any brushing. Pure tapping. And the reason why you want to tap instead of blend is because tapping lets you keep the colors there instead of letting them fuse together. And you can keep more of the pigment there and you don't have to keep applying as much color from your palette as you need to so tapping is definitely the go-to i learned that from kiki adams definitely check out her channel and i'm taking this pink and i'm tapping that right above the purple in my crease and then i'm i'm tapping that on with a luxie 233 brush and then i'm going back in with my morphe m503 brush and i'm tapping that into the purple just very lightly tapping that in there and then i'm just gonna take the the m504 brush and coat it in the pink and then just kind of go over like the dark blue and the dark purple and just like tap the, tap the pink all over not really blending it because i don't want the colors to fuse and then I'm not adding any more like color to the brush. I'm just going to take away the harsh line at the edge of my eye and just like kind of blend that pink out. And then I'm going to take a makeup wipe and wipe that purple off and the, all that pink off in the beginning of my lid because this is where I'm about to cut my crease and I'm about to do some bright colors. So I want them to show. And then I'm going to take my favorite P. Louise base in the shade Rumor 1. And you have to completely coat whatever round brush you use when you are cutting your crease. I use the Morphe M167 brush. I have like three of these brushes from Morphe because they're really good. And you just have to coat the brush and just make a perfect circle half circle on your lid to get that perfect cut crease you want and then i'm just taking a morph another morphe brush and then i'm like right wiping some of that excess p louise base off and i'm taking this orange from the zulu palette from juvia's place and i'm putting that on my lid And then I'm going in the yellow from the Zulu palette with my Morphe M433 brush and tapping the yellow on there. And then I'm just kind of like letting the yellow go into the orange. And then I'm taking my J. LaRue white gold pigment. You don't have to use any glue for this. Just take a brush and put it on there just with a, with a dry brush. You don't have to wet the brush or anything. Just put it directly on the eyeshadow that you're trying to put it on top of. I'm gonna go ahead and um, show you all how I cut the crease on the other eye. Again, coating 
whatever oval brush, flathead brush you want to use and coating it in whatever you're cutting the crease with. And I'm cutting it with the P. Louise base. And um, you want to tap it, like tap the perfect half circle on your lid. And then you go in and then you fill in the, um, the blank spots in the middle of your eye. That's the best way I can explain it. Again, Kiki Adams was like the like the holy grail YouTuber that I follow to get clear directions on how to do this. And then practice makes perfect. So just watching a lot of videos and especially watching how Kiki Adams does it. And then, you know, just practicing. So now I'm taking some tape and putting that down and I'm using the Sephora liquid liner. The Sephora liquid liner, this is not a sponsored video, but this is the best eyeliner I have ever used in my life. Everybody should own this because this is amazing. I have like three backups of this already because Sephora really did they thing. Like it goes over glitter, it goes over anything and it's completely matte and it's amazing. And then I'm using my lashes from AliExpress. Because of the coronavirus, they take about a month and a half to get to you. But if the Rona wasn't around, they only usually take about like two to three weeks to get to you. But you that's why you order them in bulk. I order three packs at a time and I never run out. And when those three packs come, I order another three packs. So I'm never out of lashes ever. And since I always do wild eyeshadows and like creative eyeshadows, I never do my foundation first because sometimes glitter or pigment or eyeshadow gets on my face. So I always do my face last. Uh, and then I use the Farsali Skin Tune Blur, which is a primer. And this is amazing. Everybody needs it. It's $54, but it's worth it. And I get the Farsali uh, primer that I'm using right now off of Sephora's website. I don't usually shop at Sephora, but I've been shopping at Sephora recently for the past month and I feel guilty because I am I like Ulta more, but. And then I'm spraying the Urban Decay All Nighter Spray. This is just a sampler that I got. And you do this to let the foundation um, be a little bit more mattifying through the night. So just take, um, some setting spray you have and spray your face before you work that foundation in let it sit for a little bit and then you work it in with some setting spray on top of that foundation and then i'm using the juvia's place j13 concealer to conceal my face and i'm using another morphe m444 brush I love these brushes. People think they're too hard, but they're perfect for me. And then I'm using my um, Morphe Banana Rich Powder. I'm like a Morphe. Morphe is like probably one of my favorite makeup brands and they got rid of Jeffree Star. So I'm not ashamed to really say they're still one of my favorite makeup brands, but I love Morphe. And then I'm going to go into this pink right here and I'm going to take my Morphe M213 brush and put that pink under my eye to let my eye pop out a little bit. But you can put whatever color you want on your on your waterline. It doesn't really matter. And I'm not really a highlight person. So like I have the same five highlighting palettes since I've started doing my makeup, but I'm using the ABH Moonchild palette just because like, I feel like I'm too bright already for highlight, but I throw on highlight every time I do my makeup just because it does make a difference. But I do the bare minimum when it comes to a highlight. And then I'm going to line my lips with a brown lip liner. You know, I use the ABH lipstick in Nude. It's like my favorite lipstick ever. And then I'm putting on the NYX Lingerie Lip Gloss in Clear over that just because my eyes was doing a lot this day. So I just used, I was just being basic as usual and I just did a clear lip gloss. 
but this is the finished look i hope you all like this please thumbs up and if you aren't subscribed to my channel please subscribe i'm so close to 600 subscribers i can taste it i can feel it but thank you for watching and i will see you all next time bye bye